thinkers. I am Miss Mona Lisa, and today we are asking the question, what are optical illusions? What are optical illusions? What are optical illusions? How do our brains experience them? And can they be art? Hey, Miss Mona. Oh, optical illusion. Isn't that a cool word? <laughs> I mean optical, meaning your eyes, I'm even wearing my glasses today, and illusion, meaning that you think it looks one way, but it's probably not at all. That's why I know one thing about optical illusions. They're magic. Yes, sometimes they seem pretty magical to our brains, but let's break it down a little more. Scientists don't know the exact reason why different people perceive different illusions, but they have some theories. One of them being that our brain is constantly trying to perceive and predict what happens next. So when something that they see doesn't match what they already know, the brain creates visual trickery. <laughs> I mean, Sure, I, I get what you mean, I really, really do. But here's something I do know. Optical illusions can't be art. Misinformation. Artists use optical illusions all the time to make 2D into 3D. They play with perspective drawings using a horizon line and a vanishing point. Let's take a look at some of these pieces of art. There is the reversible head with fruit basket by Giuseppe Arcimboldo. We have drawing hands by M.C. Escher. Galatea of the Spears by Salvador Dali. And even more modern artists like Banksy and his piece, Sweeping It Under the Carpet. Those were so cool. Now I'm starting to get what you mean. So the bottom line is that optical illusions can only be created by people, by humans. I mean, we are pretty smart creatures and we probably are the only ones who can do anything with optical illusions. information, I think I know someone who may know a little bit more about this subject. Miss No, can you help us out today? Hey Miss Mona, how's it going? Wonderful. So I heard that you were talking about optical illusions and I know some things about optical illusions in nature. So check out these moths right here. What do you notice about these Miss Mona? Well it looks like eyeballs. So these moths have these formations called eye spots, and this is a type of mimicry, and they use this to ward off predators. Look a little scarier. There are even orchids that look like they have tiny little faces on them. And there's even caterpillars and spiders that use camouflage to look like bird poop so that predators won't gobble them up. Let's take a look at some more examples of optical illusions. This is called a zoetrope. When I spin it around, it mimics the film from a movie. Come in close and take a look. Now it's your turn. Take a step outside and see if you can find any naturally formed illusions or grab a pen and paper and use the perspective drawing to create your own 2D into 3D illusions. And whatever you do, hashtag it the living think and have your parents or yourself post it on social media. My name is Sam Kelsey. I am a heavy equipment operator for Martin Contracting. I uh, got this job through some of my family. 
got into construction a long time ago because I always like playing in the dirt and playing in the, the rocks and stuff. So we started building dams when we was little and carried on into construction. The coolest thing about this job is probably running all the equipment and being on all the big machines and stuff. As a construction worker, as a heavy equipment operator, we use machines like these, a backhoe, to aid in the construction of buildings like of structures like buildings and uh, roads and the like. We hope you enjoyed this episode of The Living Think, and if you did, please like this video and subscribe and come back every week and find a new episode of The, the Living Think. Think.